shifting from EGFR uh, to a less common target, uh, one where we have not had an approved agent yet, is uh, patients with RET fusion gene. Uh, so Joel, can you talk about uh, how common is RET fusion gene, how do you test for it, and uh, walk us through some of the exciting data with uh, LOXA 292. Okay, so uh, rat fusion uh, is a rare uh, oncogenic uh, alteration, uh, actionable mutation in non-small cell lung cancer. It only account uh, one or two percent of uh, all non-small cell lung cancer. Uh, uh, LOXA 292 is a, a very selective uh, RAN inhibitor. So uh, based on recent uh, phase one slash uh, two study, uh, among uh, uh, over 100 uh, advanced stage not rap fusion positive non-small cell lung cancer, response rate uh, was almost 60%, uh, and response duration was uh, very durable, uh, or longer than 20 months, uh, and uh, uh, it, it also showed a, a excellent intracranial response uh, up to 90% in measurable uh, CNS metastasis. Uh, so. Uh, uh, this drug is uh, active. Uh, the, 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 in this uh, rare disease, a uh, treatment uh, as well as a detection of a rat uh, genomic alteration is uh, really important because it rarity, given the rarity of this genomic alteration. So, in uh, my clinic, uh, I'll usually uh, use uh, nexin sequencing uh, to detect uh, uh, rat fusion positive non small cell lung cancer. Uh, we haven't tried uh, immunology chemistry and fish or fish assay to detect uh, rare fusion, uh, but uh, sensitivity and specificity of immunology chemistry and uh, followed by fish uh, is not that good uh, as uh, uh, we uh, already seen uh, in, in ROS1 positive lung cancer. So uh, I prefer to use uh, next in sequencing to detect uh, rare fusion positive lung cancer. One of the pieces of the LOXO 292 data that were presented at the World Conference that really struck me was in patients with RET fusion that were treatment naive, mm -hmm. the response rate with the drug was greater than 80%. Yeah. Really positioning the drug for frontline therapy. Johan, how do you do RET testing in your practice? Are you testing for it now? Um, well, in, I think in, in, our, in our setting and in most European countries, it's not already common to do NGS for gene fusions. And so often uh, the red uh, abnormality is searched by a fish test. And again, a fish test is a, a burden and a cost for the pathologist, and that matters in Europe. So what, what we at the present time do is we first look for the more common ones, like um, NGS, well, we have NGS on DNA, so we look for EGFR, HER2, we look for KRAS and so on. And if it's a patient with a high, higher likelihood of red fusion abnormalities, if all the rest is negative, then we do a fish. But we don't do the fish at the present time yet in the reflex setting. Pasi, how do you view these data and does this provide sufficient information for you to start treating these patients once the drug is available in clinical practice? Absolutely. I mean, I think the, the data here are consistent with, the, with all the paradigms of oncogene addiction and having a cancer that's dependent on RET signaling. When you have a highly selective RET inhibitor, you see a dramatic response, analogous to what we're seeing in EGFR and ALK and ROS1. So I think this completely fits that. And I think the frontline data is uh, encouraging and also consistent with that. And I, and, and I think also raises the possibility of ultimately being in that space uh, as, a, as a yet another testable uh, driver oncogene where we have a targeted therapy. And that would end up being the sixth target. Absolutely. With a targetable agent. And therefore, the molecular testing that we do in the front end will slowly start moving towards NGS, if not already. Yeah, I, I, think, I think you pretty much have to do that now because also these are rare enough uh, that if you're not having a routine test, it's hard to find them. Uh, although strategies like Johan mentioned is, is an alternative approach, but also just routinely doing comprehensive things. You find the common ones, but you find the rare ones like the RETs. Yeah, without any budget uh, restrictions, I, I would surely favor it looking at it in a reflex setting because it's very strong data compared to other previous data with multi-kinase inhibitors. It's much more powerful, it's much less toxic, so I'm very convinced. But there is a reason that there's a reality of budget aspects of molecular testing in Europe. 